hey what's up youtubers all right so where we last left off in the previous video um we were setting up the form val uh, our registrations form um, form validations um using the add valid um annotation along with binding um the form values to our user model using this model uh, model attrib attribute and so with the binding result uh, function we or object we uh, then use that over here within our if statement to uh, check for any errors and display them on the page and then here we set up our own um, validation message for the confirm password field so now but in this video i wanted to first set up the email functionality that we're going to need to use uh, for when we after registering the user it's then going to be used here to send um, an email notification to the user to then um, uh, verify their account so before we proceed with the rest of the stuff that we're going to need within this um, registration uh, function or post method um, i want to set up all that email configuration first and then we can uh, proceed with uh, setting up the rest of the registration um, utilities that we need so now the first thing is i'm going to come here within the source field i mean source uh, package and then here within the java package itself um, under the config um, uh, folder uh, this is where i'll configure our email configuration so i'm going to click in there and i'm going to type mail config okay so now within here we're going to set a static method which is going to be public and then static and then it's going to return uh, what you call it a java mail uh, it's java mail sender implementation and then we're just going to say get uh, mail config now just before we continue when it comes to setting up email config you can do that as well here within the resource um here within the in the applications properties file but i tried this before and i couldn't get it to work and so i find it a bit easier to just set up the configuration here within a class and then we can call this class within any of our methods to um, set up our email um, notification uh, email functionality so that is why I'm, I'm setting it up in here so now i need to create um, java mail implementation and say email config and it's going to equal to new java mail implementation java mail sender implementation all right so here we're going to set our properties Okay, so we're gonna say properties. Okay, and then we're gonna say props. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna say props uh, dot put. Apologies for that. I got a phone call. My apologies for that. I just received uh, a phone call. In any case, um, where were we? Okay, so I'm gonna say put, right? And then here, this is where we're gonna put um some of our email uh, settings. So we're gonna say uh, we're gonna call this mail dot uh, transport, and then and then the next parameter is gonna be smtp okay and then i'm just gonna copy this here uh, paste it a couple of times okay so now here we need smtp dot uh, auth and this property here we're gonna set it to true okay and then the other one we're gonna say smtp dot uh, let me delete this start and then tls dot enabled and then 
we set this one to true as well so let me just make sure with all the spellings correct okay start tls okay then the last one should be um, debug this one is nice because at least when there's issues we are able to then see them within the terminal itself so um, i would recommend that you set this one up so that you, uh, well for production maybe you might not want to do that but um, if, since we're, we're in development mode you can set this one so that at least if there's issues when we send emails we can also check within the console where the application is failing all right so let me just verify i think we've got everything we need uh, up here okay smtp dot auth to start tls okay all right so now here we're going to say set mail uh, credentials okay so here we say email config dot uh, set host okay so this one now okay so now let me explain um i'm using hmail server uh, like i said to um to test email functionality so this is the application like i said before i do have a video within uh, my um uh, my playlist um, as to how you set up uh, hmail server and so i created um, a domain here which is some company.com and then under that i have three email accounts so these are the accounts i'm going to be playing around with and then um this the one that says no reply at some uh some company.com this is the email account i'm going to use here within the uh, configuration to process emails so but since this application is installed on my local machine i can then now say uh, local local host um, if you have um, your email um, what you call it server set up somewhere else th this is where you would put your host uh, your host name okay and then here i'll say email config dot set uh, port which is going to be port 25 and then email config dot set uh, username now again the email i'm using is the no reply at some company.com okay so you use whichever email uh, whichever username and password that you have set up on your on your what you call it um, on your email server what is it some company.com okay and here the password itself is going to be whatever you set up uh, whatever the email password you set up here within this um, this um, uh, HTML server application so for mine it's password one two three okay and then here we return email config okay um, that should be it And then the other thing is that we need to annotate this as a bean class. Okay. So I think that's it for the email configuration. So now, since we've set this up, I'm going to create another folder here within our package. So this one will be a mail messenger. I call it that, yeah, mail messenger. I think that should be fine. Okay, so now in here I'm gonna create a class and then I'm just gonna call it mail messenger. Okay, so now in here. Um, what we need is well this is the class that we're going to use um, when sending email so this class is going to be um, let me just type it out and then I'll explain afterwards so it's going to be mail static I mean public static void and then I'm just going to call it HTML email um, messenger all right so in this class basically um, you can set up various types of um, 
uh, email messaging classes like uh, maybe you want uh, another class here that's just gonna send a, a simple text uh, message or if you wanted it to have other features as well so you can set up various types of classes within here that you can reuse uh, when you're sending email so let me show you what this one this one is going to contain a uh, string and then this is going to the first parameter is going to be as to who the email is from and then you're going to set up another string you're going to say um, this is who the email is going to and then we're going to say string then subject and then what else oh yeah string and then what you call it uh, body all right so now the body part so remember uh, there's a, a couple of videos back i set up um, an html class within here and then we set up our email html template within um, this uh, within uh, this particular string class so this um, class is what's going to go within uh, this is what we're going to use here with as a parameter for our html body all right so now within here we're going to need to get uh in here we're going to need to get the email config um Here we're gonna say get mail config and then what we need to set up here is that java mail class that we set up so we're gonna say java uh, mail this is gonna be java mail sender and we're gonna say sender and then it's gonna equal to mail uh, what is it mail config right dot get email config so that's the class we set up um, uh, here within our mail config class all right so here we're gonna say set uh, my message and then we're gonna say my what is it my message yeah and then we're gonna say message all right which is gonna equal to sender dot uh, create my message okay and then down here you're gonna say set uh, my message helper helper all right so we're gonna say my uh, message helper and then I'm just gonna name it HTML message and then equal to new uh, my message helper and then we're going to set the message um, as the first parameter and then this one is going to be true okay so this is probably going to throw a message exception so we can either edit there or just put this within a try catch block so we'll just say we'll just say uh throws um messaging exception there Okay, so then we're gonna set the properties. Okay, so we're gonna say HTML message dot uh, set set um, two, and then obviously this is gonna be the two mail, right? Uh, let me okay no. Let me say HTML dot uh, set, which is going to be from, and then there we're going to say from, and then this one subject will be subject, and then then here we're going to see dot set set text right. Now this one we're going to say body and then for it to send it as html we have to say set the second property as true right and then here we're going to send the message we're going to say sender dot send uh, let me just 
let me just verify my message yeah all right so and then here we passing the message um object all right so this should be fine so as you can see with this setting here set text you you can also set this to just send a plain text and so therefore you wouldn't need to set that um, attribute to true and so but if you wanted various types of emails where one is going to contain like an html body you can use these very same settings or if you wanted another uh what you call it class within here which is going to send an email but maybe with just simple text you can set up another one here and then therefore all you have to do is just call this mail messenger class uh, what you call a class and then pull whichever static methods you want that you set up for your email uh, sending functionality all right so end of html okay so that's what um, that's all we need in terms of the uh, configuration for our email so let me just verify okay we've got our mail config within here and then this is all we need in terms of uh, what we're going to use to send an email all right so i think that's pretty much it um, for our email configuration um, in the next video what we will do then is set up all that we need within here and then we will check and see if we are then able to send email notifications within um, uh, within our application by the way i used thunderbird to set up my uh, email configuration so you use whatever it is whether it's outlook or maybe it's another or maybe it's mail trap or something like that but for me i set up that email that we're going to test with within the next video um to sam davis which is what i showed you here within um uh, hmail server okay so um yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it before for what uh, that's pretty much it for what we need in terms of our email uh, functionality all right guys so that's it for the video um if you've liked what you've seen so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys within the next video. Alright, cheers for now.